I have a big box. I'm gonna open it for you. Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. So, a while back, um, a few weeks at this point, uh, we did a little mini live stream for Kirby Fighters 2. Now that game was courtesy of Nintendo. They emailed me and was like, hey, do you want to show this off? We'll send you over a copy. And I was like, yeah. So we did a live stream. It was fun. It's, um, you know, a bit like Smash Brothers, but every character is Kirby. And uh, we did the stream, and then Nintendo was like, hey, we're going to send you a physical thing. And I was like, okay. They didn't say what the physical thing was, but it was somehow tied to Kirby Fighters. But it was just, they're sending something in the mail. Cut to today. Get this in the mail. I have no idea who this is from, so I start to open it. And as I open it, I see some stuff inside, and I'm like, Oh, that's Kirby stuff. And then it occurred in my brain. I was like, oh yeah, they said they were sending that. Because that was like a few weeks ago. So I've I've opened this. I haven't seen everything in it. But I have opened it. And I saw just enough stuff to be like, oh, that's what that is. So I don't know exactly what's in here. But as we open this up, there is Joy-Cons. This is what I saw. I saw this in, a, in like just a Kirby logo. They sent us Joy-Cons. Again, they didn't tell us they were doing this, but that's really sweet, uh, especially for the fact that it's nice to have a spare green Joy-Con, just because um, in case something happens to the Joy-Cons, there's, there's an extra one, and also just an extra set, so if we do multiplayer games and we need Joy-Cons, we have those. So, uh, very unexpected, but I appreciate it, and I guess because it's pink, that's why it links to the Kirby. Um, and then there's this. This is, uh, it's, it's a large, this probably fits me. It's a shirt. Let's put this on the ground and pull this up. This is, uh, what is on it? What's it say? Is Same it thing as your other Kirby oh shirt. Oh my God. This is another Japanese Kirby <laughs> shirt. Okay, I have, um, it's not this design, but I have a, a Kirby shirt with, with, Japanese written on it um, that I got from the Nintendo New York uh, store when we were there a few years ago. Very sweet. Appreciate that. Um, oh, there's a there's a letter in here. Uh, it says, Hello, Stephen. Thank you so much for participating in the Kirby Fighters 2 Launch Week Celebration live stream. We hope you enjoy these goodies and continue having fun with everyone's favorite pink puff ball. As always, thank you so much for being a great partner. Your friends at Nintendo. Okay. we Will do. Um, and then they, they, they sent me a reminder of the, the, the FTC disclosure agreements, which I already told you, they sent us the game for free. And, uh, I guess as part of that, they decided they wanted to send us some other stuff, which I appreciate. Thank you, Nintendo. Um, this is neat. What the heck is this? Is this a, it's, it's a, a plush. Pillow. It's a, oh my God, it's a, it's a Sprite plush and on the back it's uh, you may know Kirby. What? Pretty sure that kanji is dream. You may. Isn't it a star? Didn't we? Is it star? I thought it was dream. It was but Kirby rides a star. I mean, he also lives in Dreamland, but I don't remember. Someone who's good at Japanese. Tell us what this says, because I, I knew it at one point, I don't remember now. It was like Kirby eats a star at Arby's. One of these is Arby's. Um, anyway, again, Nintendo, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, not necessary, but it's, ni it's nice to feel, you know, appreciated, I suppose. Kirby Fighters 2 was fun. Certainly very different from, um, you know, something like Smash, but for Kirby fans, I think it was a, I think it was a, a good, good couch co-op game. I think it's better with two people. Well, obviously it's a fighting game, so you need more people, but like the, the story mode was really fun, playing with two people and getting the power-ups and stuff. Neat. Oh, Kepler's decided to start eating tags, so that's, that's par for the course. Good boy, Kepi. Anyway, there's, um, there's other things. To, to do today. Mal is going back to painting. She's got to um, get, you re I mean, you really need to get your painting done today if you can. Tomorrow is fine too, but today would be better. 
And Mao's, uh, Mao's painting, we can't, I don't want to disclose it yet, but it is, uh, it's a Nintendo series. Is that a, is that a huge hint? Should I have not said that? I just <laughs> did, so you'll have to live with it. Um, and that'll, that'll be exciting. Uh, and then, uh, tonight, game night, and, um, I think I know what we're recording, but I don't want to say yet in case that the person is not ready to have us do it. It may not, it may not happen. So I'll, I'll update the vlog later if, uh, if it's happening, but I think we have a very specific recording planned and that's, that's going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, again, this is, this is very sweet and, um, cool. <laughs> A few hours later, or maybe a lot of hours later, we have finished game night. And earlier I was talking about wanting to do a very special thing, and I'm happy to announce that we did that thing, and I'll go ahead and tell you what that thing was. Uh, we recorded an Animal Crossing episode for Halloween. Um, this is something that, I mean, I would have liked to have done something for it anyway, but I really have to give all of the credit to Lindsay, um, because Lindsay uh, basically redid her island to be Halloween themed, and she redid her, I would say home, but home, she actually has two, two houses, uh, to, you know, have Halloween stuff and have new stuff, and it's just, it was a really good job um, that she did, and uh, since she themed it around the holiday, it really pushed us to make a video for the holiday, and we did. Now, this is a little weird, because we actually have already filmed two episodes already of Animal Crossing uh, showing off Thomas's town again and Haley's town again. And we hadn't had those released yet, so we're actually going to release these in a different order. Um, we're going to release Lindsay's next on Halloween, because Halloween falls on a Saturday. Um, so that'll come out even though we filmed Haley and Thomas's back in August. So those won't come out until later but it's fine. <laughs> the world doesn't end. It's still us playing Animal Crossing. But if you were hoping that there would be, um, you know, some stuff showing off the Halloween update for Animal Crossing, you're in luck because we did that tonight. So again, huge shout out to Lindsay um, for basically redoing her town. I think she had been working on it anyway, but she pushed really hard into the fall Halloween stuff. Um, and it, it worked out really well for us to be able to do another Animal Crossing video. So, um, yeah, you'll get that on Halloween. And then, of course, we've got, like I said before, two other episodes of Animal Crossing in the can that we'll be releasing before the end of the year. So more Animal Crossing content is coming your way. This was also interesting because this was our last Saturday game night before everyone is here. Obviously, next Saturday, we will be doing Extra Life, October 24th. Um... It's probably going to go into the wee hours of the morning, as it always does, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, and then actually the next Saturday after that, I think possibly Chaz and Jeff will still be here. So probably won't be doing a Saturday game night then either. So this will be the last time. I know yesterday I was talking about how it was the last time we're going to do Breath of the Wild for a few weeks. This is the last time we're going to do Saturday game night for a few weeks. We have plenty of stuff to release on Saturdays. Um, we won't be releasing anything on Stephen Play's next Saturday, because that's the day of the event, we want you over on Twitch watching the event, not on YouTube. But, um, you know, we'll we'll get back to it in a few weeks. But uh, it's just cool because, like, I talk to everybody and I'm like, holy crap, I'm going to start seeing you guys next week in just a few more days. So it's starting to feel real. I've talked a lot about Extra Life in the past few I mean, the past few weeks, but especially the past few days, no apologies, man. That's just, it's been really the forefront of my mind, so I'm talking about it a lot. Having said, uh, I am very tired, so I'm going to try and get some sleep. Tomorrow is going to be another big day because we only have a few days left, and we still have a lot to do, so I'm going to be working hard. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, let's be back tomorrow, shall we?